A raging fire consumes Ems Pub, devastating the old market and putting dozens out of work. That fire began on Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock and just continues to burn this morning. Throughout the night in bitter cold temperatures, Omaha fire crews rotated, attacking the fire on all sides of the building. The frozen water leaving massive icicles hanging from the brick. The main strategy over a night appeared to be to prevent the fire from spreading to nearby structures, avoiding further catastrophe in the old market. There are fears as well that the old brick building might collapse. This again all began Saturday afternoon. Residents were immediately evacuated from uh, the restaurant and the building, and the flames carried from there. Fire officials haven't yet said what started this fire, but witnesses describe the moment. We heard this soft but very loud boom. It wasn't like an explosion. It was like snow coming off a roof or something. And then we turned the corner and we could smell a strong smell of gas. Now, again, this was an all day effort for firefighters on Saturday, unfortunately happening on the coldest day this winter. WOWT 6 News' Chase Moffitt spoke to witnesses and neighbors and has this update. The whole building shook with the explosion. Smoke started filling. Through thick smoke and bitter cold winds, we can see firefighters shooting water onto flames ripping up from the basement of M's Pub in the Old Market. The battle is a block-wide effort. From the air off a ladder truck, we can see water shooting down from above. And the smell of gas on 11th and Howard was so awful I couldn't breathe. So I pulled my car in the alley and I ran upstairs and dropped off my work. And above the restaurant are a number of apartments. It's These where Rebecca Keaton Leffler lives. Once she smelled gas, she says, she alerted her neighbors. And I called 911 to tell them about the gas, that I could smell a leak. And I ran to my neighbors and knocked on their doors to tell everyone to get out. The Omaha Fire Department says part of M's pub basement collapsed. Those inside were still rushing to get out. We tried to get on the elevator, got stuck in the elevator on the second floor, but it opened up and we came running out and they were evacuating. Um, the explosion took place at M's and people were screaming and running out of there trying to get away from the fire. Ooh. A WOWT 6 News viewer sent in this video. They were in the area when the explosion happened. According to the Omaha Fire Chief Bernie Kanger, one person was taken to Nebraska Medicine with serious injuries. A witness said they saw someone being put into an ambulance with facial cuts and bleeding. Others in the area ran to help once they heard what happened. I came outside to smoke a cigarette and I was just walking the sidewalk and that's when I heard a loud boom. You could tell it wasn't a car accident. So I ran around the corner. And uh, that's when I saw the, the flames, and I came to see if I could help. Eventually, a second, then a third alarm would be called to the fire as the flames continued to spread through the building. A dangerous situation remained at the scene. And at times, the street turned nearly dark as night because of the thickness of the smoke. Still, crews kept shooting water onto the fire. It seemed like it was spreading. It came up the siding of the, uh, the building pretty quickly. And at, at that point, that's when the fire department and the police told us to uh, step back. Now this morning, firefighters are still doing all they can to put this fire out. This is an amazing viewer photo sent to us uh, of a firefighter attacking from above. Uh, and the support is also already pouring in for those affected. This sign from Tavern Restaurant downtown uh, asking for anybody to also continue to give tips to help those that are out of work. Now, WOWT 6 News producer Roger Hamer has been in contact with the owner of M's Pub, who was in Phoenix, Arizona, when he heard the news and is back en route to Omaha now. We will be speaking with him later today. We'll also be monitoring this devastating fire throughout the day. Stay with us online and on air and on our app for the latest updates.